Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the process to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11. This video is not meant to be a tutorial, this is just a video to show how the process has been updated and if it is possible to upgrade existing devices to Windows 11. Before we move on, I have also created other related videos, including one that shows the clean installation process of Windows 11 and another demonstrating all the new UI changes and features. You can find the links in the video description below. Okay, let's go to the process to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading a device running Windows 10 Pro version 21H1 to Windows 11. I already connected the installation media to the computer, so I'm just going to start the installation. Okay, so since we're going to be doing an in-place upgrade, I'm just going to keep the default settings, which includes the keep the personal files in apps. The process so far is the same, so let's see how after the reboot, the experience has changed. And that's it. That's how you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And as you can see, the installation process is pretty much the same as before. And we didn't have to go through the initial setup because we had a account in previous settings, which the installer brought to the new installation. Now we can confirm that we're actually running Windows 11, of course, by seeing the start menu and the task part, but if we go to the system settings and then we go to about, we can confirm that the edition is Windows 11 Pro. So now that we upgraded to Windows 11, let's see if we can go back to Windows 10 in case if you upgraded accidentally or if something is wrong and you want to roll back to the previous version. So to do that, we're going to go to Update and Security, and then we're going to go to, to Recovery. And in here, we see the option to roll back to Windows 10. And to get started, we're just going to click the Go Back button. 
we're just going to select a reason and then we're going to click next we're going to click the not thanks button and to uninstall Windows 11 we're just going to click the go back to earlier build button And that's how you uninstall Windows 11 and return to Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.